Welcome to Morningstar. With me today is Richard Kay. He is the fund manager of the Comgess Growth Japan Fund. Welcome, Richard. Hi, James. Thank Hi. you very much for having me. No problem. So could you just give us a brief rundown of um, the fund's kind of investment approach and its style, please? Great. Thank you. Uh, we invest in a select group of companies, 30 to 40 only, out of the 4,000 that are listed in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, and we like those companies to be what are called quality growth. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got to say I'm not a great person for labels. Yep. Um, and I tend to define my approach rather as, as unique companies, uh, inimitable business models uh, with, with a very clear um, growth trajectory ahead of them and managements that speak our language. And, mm. and I don't just mean English uh, because we actually do it all in Japanese. I mean people who understand shareholders' needs. Mm. That's, those are the parameters we look for in our fund. Sure, fantastic. So uh, investors are kind of very focused on US and European banks at the moment, and they're probably taking their eye off the ball in terms of what's going on in Japan. You're very fortunately based in Japan. So what, what's going on there and what's the sort of investor mood there? Yes, um, the problem of world banks, uh, the Europe and, and, Euro and US um, issues recently, of, of course, have reverberated in Japan. Mm. Um, the, the fears that Japan um, w will have to copy the rest of the world in, in a more accommodative policy. Japan already has an accommodative mm. monetary policy, but we'll have to continue with that. Sure. The fears that Japan maybe has um, hidden asset problems, bad asset problems, just like these US and European banks. Mm. Th th those fears, of course, are present in Japan and they're, they're weighing on Japan bank stocks. Uh, we've had over a 20% decline in Japanese bank stocks in the last seven trading days. Okay. Um, we don't hold bank shares in our, in, our, in our portfolio. They don't really fit those parameters I mentioned earlier of unique companies with inimitable business mm, models. Mm. Um, so I have to say, at, at the fear of uh, sounding rather um, sort of full of schadenfreude, mm. uh, that, that the, the recent turmoil has helped our style. Um, but there's a bigger question, of course, will, will growth be um, compromised because of these financial issues? Mm, mm. Um, and, and that's something we have to be careful about. Uh, Japan's had a difficult growth path over the last 10 years anyway. Yes. We try to invest in unique companies that can grow despite the macro issues. Mm. Yeah, so it's Japan's, Japan's not immune to the kind of wider global factors. So in terms of kind of um, secular growth trends, what, what are yes. the things that we need to be looking out for? I think there are three major things, James, which uh, are, are great opportunities for a Japan investor, or actually for a global investor who mm. wants to invest in these themes through Japanese equities, which are often cheap, liquid, and um, under-researched and waiting to be discovered. Sure. The first of those themes um, is the reopening and the normalization of China, mm. Asia in general. Mm. Um, you all know the story of the messy end to, to zero COVID. Mm. Uh, we have a China fund for Chinese nationals who've been in China mm. um, and out of China over the last few weeks uh, reporting on the situation on the ground. It is a mess, but it is getting normal. Sure. Um, and when it gets normal, the potential there is, is, is huge. Mm. We in our Japan fund invest in that story through consumer stocks that play to the Chinese and the emerging mm. market consumer mm. and technology companies that help Chinese industry to become more sophisticated. Sure. Um, those two buckets of our China exposure mm. um, have been a major area of the aggregate profit growth in our portfolio um, and actually of our alpha generation this year. Right. Uh, so the China reopening is a major theme. Very quickly, two other themes. Mm. Um, Japan is an aging society, yes. which many people think is a bad thing. Yes. Uh, yes. But we say actually it's a very exciting opportunity mm. because companies that are improving workflow um, um, Work workflow solutions, uh, companies mm. that are offering uh, software or automation mm. uh, to deal with the labor shortage, mm. um, and companies that are um, addressing the consolidation of old industries that's being right. driven by uh, the aging of, uh, of, of managements. Mm. Those are very interesting themes. We invest in them in, in the fund. And, and very quickly, lastly, technology yes. um, is, is, is a global theme, not only limited to Japan, but mm. there are many great technology companies in Japan that are not properly discovered mm. and valued. Yep. Uh, and we have many in our fund. Sure. Uh, and so those three themes, um, China and Asia reopening, aging and technology, are ones that we play quite heavily in this fund. Great. So to pick up one of the themes, um, in terms of you know Japan and China, their fortunes are somewhat in, in, interlinked. Um, but there is political risk in, in that region at the moment. There is. How, yes. how, would you, how do you play that as an investor? Um, it's a, a complicated question. On the negative side, mm. I have to say mm. that um, Ch Japan in its southernmost islands, the, the Okinawa Island chain, uh, is actually closer to Taiwan uh, than, than, than those, chains, those island chains are to Tokyo. Yeah. Uh, 
Japan is hugely sensitive to the mm. defense uh, questions surrounding Taiwan. Sure. Um, and Japan has recently significantly increased its defense budget right. um, in tandem uh, with, with, with U.S. plans, mm. of course. Mm. Uh, there's a very close military alliance between those two countries that's pertained for 70 years. Mm. So all of those are elements of risk. Sure. Um, on, on the other hand, I want to make clear that if there were ever to be a, a confrontation in mm. that region, it wouldn't just be a Japan or an Asia problem. Sure. Yep. Um, every world market would be hit similarly. Yes. Um, and, and Japan is in a peculiar position that it actually benefits from the US-China tension in a number of areas. Mm. Um, we have a company called Murata, for example, okay. which uh, makes components for iPhone. It's got Aye. the biggest share of bill of materials in an iPhone. Your mm. phone is probably full of these Murata components sure. for saw filters, Wi-Fi antennas. They've won share in China from US competitors because right. Chinese handset makers prefer to buy Japanese than American, and there yes. aren't any other choices. Yep. I can give you other examples. Um, and so the geopolitical tension is surprisingly um, um, good to Japan in some mm. ways. And, and again, we've tried to capture this opportunity. Japan because of its geopolitical position, uh, because it's on the edge of a continent with a very powerful neighbor, in fact, several powerful nuclear armed neighbors, and it mm. has no army technically, yes. uh, has always been diplomatically very astute, yeah. and that remains the case today. Sure, sure, yeah. So there, there's fear, but there's also opportunity. There's opportunity. So balance, just, yes. just as a final question, um, you mentioned technology. Um, yes. Obviously, Japan's an innovator. Are there sort of companies that are below the radar that Western investors will not have heard of? Yes, yes, there are many. And in our fund, we have a few. There's one sure. called Dick Serials, D E X R A L S. Yeah which is a, a rather unknown name in the West. In fact, even in Japan, it's not well known, but they have um, a, a unique business supplying components that are mounted on uh, thin film mm. for um, Apple and uh, Android uh, right. devices. Yep. Um, it's uh, a very high growing company, very high return on capital company, mm. uh, a low teens price earnings ratio. Okay. Um, and, and there are many similar ones that I could mention. It's mm. not quite technology, but we have a company called Nishin Foods that does uh, couples. Yes. They have a very special technology for, for vacuum uh, maintenance in mm. the pot there, um, which again is very cheap on global comparison, very high growth. Sure. Uh, and, and there are several other ideas where that came from of great companies not so well known mm. uh, performing on the world stage yeah. uh, and carrying the expertise of Japan uh, sure. to all sorts of regions. And, and we invest in those throughout this fund. Yeah, those are fascinating examples. So, well, thank you so much for your time, Richard. Much it was a real pleasure. Thank you very yeah, much for your you. time and patience today. Thank you. Yeah. For Morningstar, I'm James Gard.